Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case might be. Uh, this is the Ronald Golova uh, channel. You're welcome. Today we're going to look at how to use Mail Merge. Mail Merge is a feature that helps one to type a letter like this one you see and then you make it customized to the recipients whereby each and every recipient will get a letter as if it was typed specifically for him or her. This helps to save time in case you have maybe like 500 recipients also think of a situation like you have got maybe you are a secretary you have been told to send uh, letters maybe to applicants where you had 200 applicants and each one is supposed to get his or her own letter customized in their with their addresses and names on this letter it can easily be done by use of mail or merge you can even send an email customized email you type one document and then you send it to many and whoever receives that document tend to think that is the only one or maybe you sat down and typed a letter specifically for him or her so mail or merge is a very good feature so how do we use mail or merge in word 2016 even 2010 and 2007 actually mail or merge has, it has been in word for so long i started seeing mail or merge as early as i think it was office 2000 and the, uh 30 2003 we know uh, office xp but even earlier versions it was there so it has been maintained that means it is very useful so how do you do mail merging you go to mailings uh, in mailings then start mail merge when you click start mail merge these are the different types you can start letters email messages envelope labels or uh, directory normal but all what we're going to do is to do mail merge step by step uh, step by step mail merge wizard a wizard is a simple program that guides you through the tasks of doing a certain um, operation now here we have got mail merge task Mail merge wizard it appears here say what type of document are you working on letters email messages envelopes labels or directory so for this case we are going to leave it checked at letters then uh, then uh, we click next next say select a starting document how do you want to set up your letters use the letter the current document start from template or start from existing document for us we are going to use the current document that it is our letter that we already have um then the next step two of six there are six steps select recipient so you click next to select recipients so to select recipients use an existing list if there is already a list or select from outlook contacts yeah sometimes you have got contacts that you typed in in outlook and then if they are there you select from outlook contact or you type a new list whatever the case might be if you want to type a new list you click type a new list then create yes in creating say add an address list this address list will be saved in our as outlook contact so you can put maybe a title you can say mr you tap first name maybe first name is tom uh next uh last name maybe salongo uh company name maybe kyu uh address line uh address line one 
what should be in address line one maybe you can say po box po box one shambogo okay there is a lot you can there is address line two po box one shambogo uh maybe uh sorry PO box let this one go to address line two cut it from there go to address line two paste there then you go to city city is compile then next you can just press tab a state which is state maybe you can say it is Uganda then we go to the next next one here um you can add click uh to add more entries click new entry so you click here new entry you get maybe another one could be is doctor doctor who maybe susan susan uh maybe senaria um company name bu address line p p o box yes uh maybe six four nine uh bugema address line two city maybe city is uh, Gayaza. Uh huh. Do you want more state? Maybe state is still Uganda. Yes, if you want to stop there, but there are still many fields: zip code, country, uh, home phone, work phone, email address, all those ones. But uh, let me just stop there, and then I can say okay. So then it will say uh, documents, my data sources. Maybe I can call it mail merge list. Okay, save. Now we have created our mail merge recipients. There are two of them. They appear here. What would you like? You can maybe sort them. Okay sort them by what maybe sort them by last name which order sending descending maybe i want descending click ok yes now these names last names have been sorted click ok so that is it so we have typed a new list but still there is select recipients or you can say select from outlook contact you click that okay. uh, then you can choose contact folder yes uh, you need to create Microsoft okay that one does first. maybe we can say um, use an existing list uh -huh. select a different list yes there is the, this one which we have just created there is this one so it's up to you maybe we can select also that one click OK then you open it has this then you can say we are going to select only Kapwepwe uh, only one this one you deselect then click OK so that one has gone there still you can say use an existing list yes uh, select from a different one we still have another one that is one that I typed on a desktop and this one yes that is that one this one i typed it in excel it is possible to get from outlook or you can type your names in excel then you browse for them you get them that is sheet is sheet one yeah of course the the workbook has only one sheet for that purpose you click ok and then it gives you the names of the recipients if you are not going to use all the recipients you can click here to deselect and then you pick out those ones that you feel should receive 
the names, I mean the letters. This one has those number of contacts. Maybe let me say want that one. Or if you want all of them, you just click here and select everything. Still, you are free to sort. Sort your names. Sort them by what? Still by last name. I want descending order. Click OK. Yes, so the last names have been sorted in descending order. Click OK. Now we are done. We are done with selecting our lists. Then step three of six. Next, write your letter. So you write your letter. Mm -hmm. If you have not already done so, write your letter now. But for us, we have done so. To add recipient information to your letter, click a location in the document and then click one of the items below. Okay, now I want to put an address block. I put the address block here where there is insertion point. So click address block and then it will give you something like that. Uh, how do you want it to appear? Do you want to appear as Josh? So say so, Kakindu Mbarara Ankole. Or you want it to appear with the title Mr. Murami Kakindu Mbarara Ankole. Or you click this. That will appear the same, or just Josh, or Miss Tumugumi, I think, it, let me say it will look like that, then click OK. There's also much fields, you can match fields, but let's just click OK. Huh? Now the address block has it, come. Huh. Then you say, re-invitation the annual general meeting of Tuesday class. Good. Um... Maybe you would like to put uh, a, a salutation. Okay. Enter. Yes. That is a greeting line. Okay. You want a greeting line? So you say greeting line. Mm -hmm. Greeting line. Which format? Do you want to say dear or to uh, or none? Mm -hmm. Let's say, dear, uh, dear Mr. It gives you an example. Mr. Randall, Mr. and Mrs. Eh? Mr. Maybe I call calling Mr. and Mrs. Okay. Then, uh -huh. after, do you want a comma, a full colony, or none? Maybe you want a comma. So, greeting line for invalid recipient names. For value, yeah, this is dear sir or madam. Mm -hmm. Well, to whom it may concern. So then here, here is a preview from your recipient list. Dear Miss Tumuramie, you click that arrow. Dear Reverend Sousi, uh, dear Mr. Ongom, it will give you all, all of them how they will appear. Click OK. Mm -hmm. That is it, a greeting line. That's what we need for this step. Next, preview your letters. You want to see how your letter will appear when you print it. Uh, so it says, Pastor Mutoni, Budaka, uh, Male Bugisu, Dear Pastor Mutoni, Re, Invitation to the Annual General Meeting of Tuesday Class. Okay. So that is how your letter will look like. If you want to see other letters, the, there is a more preview here. You click Next. As you click next, your names there will keep on changing. The recipients will be changing. There were 12 of them. All those ones that you selected, they will appear here. Then, yeah, that is it. Next, complete the merge. So you go to complete the merge. When you complete the merge, there are two options. There is edit individual letters. Maybe you want to add a certain item to certain letters. That is now. Or if you want to change to send all of these ones to be appearing like this, you can say print. Now when you say to print, what do you want to print? Maybe you want to print all. You want to print the current record, only this one for Miss Akelo, or you want to print from, 
maybe you want to print from letter number one to letter number three you put from here to this but let's say you want to print all then you click ok now when you click ok it will give the print dialog box where i say the name of the printer you select the name of the printer there depending on which printers you have now me i have all these ones some of them print hard copies others print soft copies like this print to pdf that is if i want to just have pdf files but still soft copy or microsoft xps document writer all these ones print soft copy one note for windows 10 it's also soft copy send it to one note 16 it's also soft copy but let me use this one number of copies i want one copy if you want many you can increase them then uh collect yeah we keep it collected such that if a document has got very many pages it prints entire copy if it has got 50 pages from page number one up to page number 50. then if it is to print the next copy again to print page number one to page number 50. but if you only collect it is the, a bit uh, hectic if it has got uh, 50 pages and you're going to print maybe 10 copies it will print page number one 10 copies page number two 10 copies page number three 10 copies up to page number 50. so you find that sorting them out to get out a full copy it is going to be too hectic and you need a bigger space so we don't want to and collect so we keep it collected then um this is scale to fit paper size okay click okay then because it is it is producing a soft copy it will ask you where it is going to save for this case desktop uh, of course i've ever saved it here that's why it has taken me there but if not it would have taken me to documents then in documents you look for your folder where you want to save it or you just want to save it just on a desktop click desktop uh let me use that one then maybe i give it a name as my magi deleters my magi deleters save so that work will be saved there so your letters have been saved on a desk on a desktop let's go and see our magic letters so here we are we are going on a desktop click desktop there in this folder yes magic letters are already there double click to open them so there we are we have our magic letters that we can send if you want now we can print them this is now soft copy we can print them using uh a printer that gives a hard copy but each individual will receive a letter as if you sat down and type that letter specifically for that individual so that is the mail homage please uh, uh, for this animal don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified whenever a new content has been added subscribe comment if you need anything to be done maybe um you share also sharing is good you can share with others and uh, always uh, um, visit our channel to give a thumb up thank you very much we'll meet again another time for something new god bless you